No, I'm not going to do an insight roll. I'm going to have fun with this. So you guys are, are now in Winterhaven, and you can see that the, the Cairngorm Peaks are to the north. Uh, to the south is the Guardberry Downs. Uh, I'm going to ask Sir Guard. Vamcow, no, uh, they get 200. You get 200 per per month. Dave, on my roll, I get a 14. Okay. So, he says, oh, you have a dozen kobold ears. Uh, we'll, we'll buy them right now from you, and we'll show you where to uh, visit Pedrig. Let's start lining those ears out, and we'll I'll pay you right here on the spot for them. So, I, I say... I don't know about his, but these are all the ones that I killed, and I give him the I give him the six ears. Oh shit! Uh, I think I misplaced mine. <laughs> you you misplaced him? <laughs> did you forget to take him? Totally forgot to take him. I did not. Oh, that, that sucks. At all. I just oh that stupidity of mine. Oh, not used to this. And he, you and know stuff. he's he's kind of you know elbowing his. Uh, the other guard that's at the gate. Oh, he forgot him. He goes, yeah, he forgot him. <laughs> Sir guard, where's your smithy? Ah, uh, the smithy. Oh, we have a smithy here. It's uh, Thayer Coal Striker owns the village smithy. You can get all kinds of things. He he has heavy armor, some some weapons. Uh, what what you need done? He could probably do it for you. Ah, uh, just need some. Uh... Maintenance on a uh, couple helms. I'm sure. Uh, I'm sure he can take care of you. the The smithy on your map is number five. Number five. A dwarf named Fair Coal Striker owns the village smithy. So does he offer to buy my ears, the ones like the six I have for him? He 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 just kind of chuckles and kind of nods over to the to the elf. And just tells you to take those to uh, to the Lord. Um. So, <laughs> at your inn, do you have any uh, winter rabbit wine? Oh, the Rofton's Inn. Oh, oh, the Rofton stew is to die for. Sylvana, she does a great job with the inn. Well, I'm going to head over to Smithy. I'll meet you over at the inn. Sounds good, Gimlet. <laughs> and then I asked him. Then I asked the, the guard. So, how would I go about this meeting this Lord Pedrag? Is there someone I have to go through, or uh, he would probably or... be in the inn, or, or he may be even uh, at his home. He may be at the he may be at the manor house, and he points over towards like the the largest building in Winterhaven. Show that map to you guys one more time. <laughs> I know you guys already seen it, but but there you go. Uh, the manor house is number fourteen. <clears throat> I he, say, well, he breaks out his map and shows you that you know he opens up the map and and gives you one and says, yeah, it's right here, number fourteen. <laughs> 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 oh, I say, well, thank you for all your help, and I uh, I pull out a, a gold and I give it to him. Oh. Big spender, thanks. Well, I don't. I'll, that's the lowest denomination I have. Oh, you'd appreciate it. Yeah, I heard your dungeon master doesn't do silver or copper, so you guess you're kind of you're kind of stuck giving out gold, huh? <laughs> <I'm> just, <laughs> just never mind. I'm just stricken that from the record. <laughs> tough crowd. <laughs> tough crowd. <laughs> All right. So, Gimlet, you're going over to. Uh, you're going over to the smithy. So uh, as you, it's it's starting to, you know, it's starting to get pretty dark now. You guys have been on the road for two days, and <clears throat> the dwarf looks like he's just starting to close shop for the night. But you can see the uh, he is he is there in front of you. He, he you know he locks the door and he turns around and you, you guys are basically standing uh, eye to eye level. Is sure, that, dwarf. Ah, yes! Oh, I haven't seen you around here. Who are you? Oh, I'm new group. Uh, call to arms, you know. Uh, they need some tough 
tough dwarfs out here to uh, get rid of them kobolds. Ah, uh, so you're a mercenary. You might say that. Oh. I, I, I got a couple uh, kobold uh, helms here. I, I, I'd like to get them fit together. Maybe make me a helm for myself. Uh, this one's kind of messy. And he takes the one that uh, you kind of smashed, uh, you know, that smashed the skull in on the skull bolt. And he goes, I think I could, I think I could do something for you. How much cost me, bud? that will just cost you, just cost you a gold there, fellow dwarf. For you, one gold. And since you're so happy to, <laughs> to do business with me, how long would it take? I'll have it done for you tomorrow. But I'm going yes, home. Sir. Mama's got Mama's got some food waiting for me. Well, if you come by the inn, I'll buy you a drink. Oh, not tonight. Mama doesn't let me go over there anymore. Okay. <clears throat> well, uh, I still got that drink whenever we run into each other, okay? Sounds like a good deal, and I'll see you tomorrow, friend. And what was your name yep, again? Sir. Gimli Grimm. Gimli Grimm. Hmm. Mm, is this the Gimli Grim from the Gimli tribe? <laughs> Are you from Hammerfast by chance? Uh, my ancestors come out of there, yeah. Mm, well, we all come out of there. <laughs> and he kind of he kind of punches you in the stomach a little bit. <laughs> we all come from Hammerfast <laughs> and Morden. <laughs> <laughs> and then he just kind of chuckles. He unlocks the door and he uh, takes the two the two chain, well, the two scale helmets, sets them down, closes the door, and he says, I'll see you tomorrow. Mama's waiting. Yes, sir. Don't call me, sir. I work for a living. <laughs> All right. See you later. Yep. Just call me fair. Hair with a T. <laughs> fair hair, huh? <laughs> yep. All right, so Thayer goes off. All right, so after, as we walk through the gates, I'm going to say, well, it's getting dark, guys. Um, I think I'll try to see Lord Pedreg tomorrow. I'm just going to head to the inn. I'll see, what, I'll see you guys there, and I head to the inn. Okay. I follow as well. <laughs> Nothing I'm else heading, to do. I'm heading to the inn. All right, so everybody gets to uh, the I head to the inn as well, yeah. All right. Yeah, so I'm with guys, the rest of the party. This is a pretty spacious inn. Uh, it's got a nice sized tavern. It looks like he, uh, it's like a public house. You know, lots of lots of tables. There's not a whole lot of people here. Uh, you know, the the inn offers beer, wine, uh, and occasional spirits from time to time. Uh, meals are served for those with the coin, and beds for travelers are available. And there you go. There's a small crowd in there drinking, having fun. Probably looks like uh, farmers from around Winter Haven. So, first thing I do when I walk in there is I kind of look around and I want to see why, what, what kind of people are there. Is it more just farmers or who, who all do I see in the inn? Uh, there's, kind of yeah, there's some, yeah, there's some farmers. Uh, Silvana, uh, she's an owner. Uh, she is, you know, she does. She says, I do it all. I, I cook clean, waitress, do the dishes, I do it all. And there's a there's a couple old farmers in there. Uh, a couple of them are sitting at a table, and there's a couple that, sit, that are sitting by themselves. Uh, there is also a uh, an elf that is sitting in in the inn. He's uh, over in the corner, just kind of uh, sitting by himself, uh, drinking drinking out of a mug. And there's a. Uh, eh. A couple other, probably just farmers. They're, they're pretty much just all farmers. Okay. So I'm going to walk up to Savannah and say, Hello, good mistress. Me and oh, my uh, companions were looking for a uh, place to stay for the night. Hmm. Would you have room for us? Plenty of room. Plenty of room. Don't have many travelers in, in Winter Haven these days with, with all of these these kobold attacks going on. I know. We're, we're actually here to help do something with that. We've, we've done a little bit already, so... Taking care of a couple kobolds, but mm. hopefully we'll take care of a couple more for you. She kind of sniffs. She goes, "Uh, well, yeah, you guys could you guys could use a use a bath too. We have a bathhouse out back. You can you can get a nice uh, bath. There's a there's a warm spring. So that'd be wonderful. <laughs> so how much for uh, a meal and uh, beds for? Oh, give us a couple days probably. Let's see. Uh. 
I'm gonna look real quick on the uh, Uh, it'll be a gold for a week, and that includes meals and drinks. Gold per person. Sound good to me. I look at her and I, I look at her and I say, um, I'll, I'll work, I'll work out right, and I hand her a gold. All right. Actually, I'm sorry. What is a five, five silver? Wait, two. Hold on one second. I'll look at, I'll look at some. I'm getting my numbers screwed up. Sorry about that. It's gonna be. Uh, All right, it's going to be for a week. It's going to be basically uh, every two days is going to be a gold is what it's going to be. But that includes, you know, uh, taking a bath. It includes uh, three squares a day. And it also includes uh, drinks as long as you don't go overboard, she says. Okay. Well, so that sounds like it could work for me, and I, I pay her in advance. Santa Claus? Nice. I do the same. <laughs> uh, yeah, I hand over gold. Uh-huh. Alright. I, uh, I do as well. Uh, so How many are we going? Uh, it's, it's one gold for two days. And then she tells you that uh, you get all the meals you want, there's a bathhouse, and you can drink as long as you don't go overboard. And we have all kinds of good things, she says. Do you I guys have any gambling? I ask her, uh, do you have a, a room number and a key for me at all? Or? Yeah, she gives everyone the slide cards. No, she gives everybody keys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, everybody has their own room. And there's. She, she said there's really no travelers. So there's a... She says, ah, oh, it's nice to have some of our ten rooms filled up. So there's, you know, five of you and five rooms now being... Uh, used which is good for her she's happy she asked and she asked right. you if you've had dinner if you've already had dinner tonight she goes we're just so, fixing to start cleaning up dinner we still have some if you guys are hungry i'm hungry i would love a good meal but i think i want to get some of this armor off and some of this cobalt off of me uh -huh. okay we'll have it ready for you in about, i'm hungry we'll have it ready in about a half an hour so you guys will have plenty of uh time to go up you know, take your armor off, don your honor, don your armor off. You know, get cleaned up, and you guys can come back down, and they'll have your your dinner ready for you. And you know, the same farmers are still down there. They're they're drinking. Uh, there's you know, the elf is still sitting in the corner, and uh, there's uh, someone else in here now. Uh, actually, it looks to be someone, possibly a noble, is now in in the tavern. And he's sitting down, kind of, you know, visiting the different tables and patting the, the farmers on the shoulders and, you know, saying hi to them. He doesn't appear to be drinking or anything. He's just kind of, looks like he's just kind of making the rounds and saying hi to everyone. Okay. I'm going to walk the table and sit down and say, and let Sylvana know that I'm ready to start eating. And, I, and when she brings me my food, I'm going to ask her, um, so who's the... Who's the rich guy over there? Is that a someone special around town? <laughs> she kind of laughs. She goes, "Oh, that's 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 no uh, that's no rich guy. That's that's uh, Lord Padrag. That's that's oh, the just Lord the man of, I'm of looking Winter to see. Ah, is he expecting you? Not by name. He put out a call for uh, help for the, with the kobolds, and that's what we're here to do. So ah, ooh." Adventurers to save the day. Just give me one. Let me give you one little word of advice towards uh towards the Lord. He doesn't like mercenaries, and he, he she kind of whispers it to you. He doesn't he doesn't take kindly to mercenaries. I understand. We're adventurers then. <laughs> he he will reward you, but he doesn't like to he doesn't like to uh talk about money. Uh, several several groups have have come and gone lately uh, because all they talked about was money and we want this you know all of the the merchants here we've been really lucky so far and the kobolds haven't tried to infiltrate Winterhaven and we've been really lucky so just uh, uh, we'd like to get this problem taken care of and I'm sure he'll take care of you and I'm just rambling on and uh, I'll, I'll go get you something to drink and she 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 walks off <laughs> hey light and passion how's it going yeah, you, right, you so read I'm gonna my sit mind. Down and start eating. Read my mind, fine lady. 
Holy crap, it is 1040. How time flies when you're having fun, huh? Holy crap. Let's go ahead and take a... Uh, uh, let's take a break real quick, everyone. Uh, take a...